hello everybody and welcome back i'm here to share some items that i have received from timu this is a much smaller order than i made last month but i was so pleased with everything i received last time uh, that i thought i would give it another go and see what other crafty items i could use in my projects i will have everything that i show today listed down below there is also a link with a coupon code if you are a new Timu user. Right, let's show you the items that I ordered this time round. Okay, so my first item is this 12 inch rotating mat. Now this was £7.49, which I think is quite a fair price for a decent cutting mat. Um, it is double sided so on this darker side it measures in inches and again you have all of the different angles which is obviously really great and then on the other side it is in centimetres and it's in a slightly lighter colour as well. So I like that it's two tone. Um, the only thing I would say about this is I was kind of expecting because it says it's a rotating cutting mat I kind of envisaged a kind of lazy susan style where there's like two layers and one stays still and the other one kind of swivels on top um but that's not the case it is um like a single mat but it is quite a good thickness um and yeah it actually has these notches and then that just sort of helps it um turn uh, the reason that i ordered this mat because i thought this would be really good for fussy cutting so in my last order i had this ceramic pen cutter uh, which is just brilliant by the way um, if you are interested in getting one it's extremely sharp however it does not cut the skin uh, which is obviously great if you've got little ones like myself um, and it fussy cuts so well but I like to kind of keep my pen still um, and be able to rotate the paper uh, that I'm using so I'm thinking I can kind of tack down whatever image it is that I'm cutting out and then I can just move this board and it should hopefully make cutting easier that's the plan anyway um, it's impossible to do that on this big board because this is a big A2 size so um, I can't do it on that so I thought this would be perfect for that this mat does come in a different sizes, so um, I ordered the 12 inch. I think there's one that's smaller, I think it's eight inches. Um, so yeah, depending on the size obviously that you need. But I did quite like this size, so um, I'm glad I've gone with this and I can't wait to test it out to see if it works as well as I hope it does. Um, but certainly just getting it out of the packaging, it does feel like a really good quality cutting mat. Um, I do like that it's double sided and that it has double measurements because here in the UK generally we would use centimetres but I tend to give my measurements in inches when I'm uh, recording and doing, doing tutorials because that's what most other people use. But it's nice to have this reference so that I can do different conversions. Right so that's the cutting mat and let's move on to the next item. Okay, so the next item we have these beads so I'm just going to pull some of them out so you can kind of see them a little bit better um, but they are coffee beans and these are in an amber you can get them in uh, more of a coffee color but I decided I really liked the amber color you get 30 pieces in there they do have holes in so they are great for making dangles and charms and all sorts of things with which is what I'm looking forward to do in my journals. So you get 30 pieces and this whole packet was only 89 pence, which I think is an absolute bargain considering how absolutely beautiful they are. And they do actually very much look like coffee beans. So I am very excited about using those and I can't wait to make some dangles with them. Okay, so the next item, I've zoomed you in a little bit because it is this die. This is a ship window die and this was £1.79 at the point that I ordered it. It is a really fun size. Just grabbing my ruler so you can see. So it's a three inch circle um, and it's supposed to give you the kind of cabin window. Now I have made one up and I have put some acetate on here as well just to kind of help make it look like a window but this is all set ready for perhaps a shaker card or this could go on the front of a journal and I could have a picture behind there 
um, but I just wanted to make it up so we could see how it looks and I could also test how well it cuts. Now there are some intricate pieces and it cut it all out perfectly, I am happy to say. So yeah, this is a really fun die and I can't wait to use this either on a card or in a journal. Okay, so my next item is also a die. Um, as well as making journals and albums, I do like to make greetings cards, although that's not necessarily something I show on my channel very often. Um, so I thought I would get one of these. I thought this would be great just for sending a general card out um, to family members, especially since I don't live near my family members anymore. Uh, so I thought this was a really cute one. So this is the Sending Big Hugs die. This is £2.99 uh, at the point of ordering. Uh, this is how it all cuts out. I love that you have the choice of different layers. So you don't have to have three layers. You could just have uh, the writing. Um, you could then just have the writing and the first shadow background. You don't have to layer it up that many times if you don't want to. Um, and even sending again it's a very fiddly cut uh, but it cut it out really really well so I am again very happy with that die if you want an idea of size at its biggest point it is three and a half inches across and two and a half inches tall and then obviously you've got that which is also three and a half inches by about an inch I think yeah so that D is about an inch uh, so yeah, again, a really good size die and I'm very happy with how this cut out. Okay, so for the last item, I have zoomed you out a little bit. Um, so this is a book binding cloth. This is 16.9 inches wide. So I'm sorry, I know you can't see the whole uh, thing on there, but that's 16.9 inches wide. And it's 39.4 inches long. This is 7 99 which I think is an amazing price because I have used a book cloth tape before and I used it for my detective lap book. And while it was brilliant stuff, I mean, it stuck so well and it looks and feels really great on the lap book. Um, because my tape, I think it was either an inch and a half or two inches wide, it then obviously dictates almost how wide your spine can be. So I wanted something a bit wider. So I did look into um, buying another tape, but then I saw this and I thought this might actually be another alternative. So it does have a kind of paper back so that you can obviously glue it down better. Um, I did order the grey, but as you can say, it's, it's like a really dark grey. It's almost black. But I think this colour kind of suits more of the style of journals that I make anyway. Um, it's got a really lovely feel to it as well. Um, it is nice and thin, which means it's going to be nice and flexible. And like I said, having that paper backing just means that you can um, glue it much more easily to your journal or whatever project it is that you're making. So I am excited to give this one a try. Um, there is a journal that I want to make actually that might be in June um, and then I'll be testing this out. But yeah, it certainly feels like it's really nice quality. Like I said, I do like the paper backing because that's going to make it really easy to glue down. Um, it would have been nice having an adhesive back, but having said that, again, when I worked with the tape, while it was super, super sticky, um, which is obviously great because you want it to stick and you want it to last um, It almost became impossible to work with because it was sticking to anything and everything but the place I needed it sometimes so um, At least this one. I am um, hopefully I'll have a bit more control over where the glue and things are going Okay, so that's my Timu haul this time as I said it is a very small haul um, I didn't order quite as much as I did last month um, however, I have got a couple more more expensive items. So as I said, the cutting mat was £7.49. Um, the book cloth was £7.99. The ship window die was £1.79. The big hugs die was £2.99. And the beads were 89 pence. So um, I've still got a fair amount for 
for less than £25. So um, I think it is well worth it and I cannot wait to um, try these all out and apply these to cards or journals. As I said before, all of the links will be down below. There's also that coupon code if you are a new user. I hope you'll join me again soon when I start to put these products to the test. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next crafty video. Bye for now.